Alright, so now um, we are in the uh, first step of our construction. So the first step is about taking out the hood and uh, then understanding the mechanics inside and electronics. We will need some tools. So one we need a small screwdriver with a Phillips plus uh, screwdriver mount. So this is required for places where a longer screwdriver like this cannot go and of course these have got a lot of pins. So one we found is this uh, Chinese uh, uh, made uh, screwdriver which is quite good. It has got a lot of bits inside so you can change according to the type of uh, screw which is being used in your vehicle. And uh, we will also need a screwdriver which has got a long uh, shaft because some of uh, the screws have are basically mounted deep inside the plastics. So the this one can't go there so we will need something like this a longer one to kind of reach there we will also need a nose plier just in case something uh, uh, needs to be squeezed or turned most likely and hopefully we will not use it we will need a wire stripper also because most of the times when you take off the remote control vehicle there will be a lot of virus coming from the chassis and powering the electronics so we will um, uh, severe the uh, hood from the chassis for now but in such a manner that when in future we have to put it back uh, we cut the wires in such a manner that we can identify their pairing by the colors so that's very important because maybe when we are putting it back we forget the connections so we will cut the wires in such a manner that we leave a small portion um, near the electronics and uh, rest of the portion on the hood so that it is easy to kind of match the colors and rewire them. Um, so let's start the process. Uh, first we will take off the antenna. Um, so this has to be taken off the plastic sleeve. So we take off the antenna and then um, my son will take off the screw. So what happened was we took this car for a test drive and during the test drive itself the the hood kind of came loose from the back side but there is still uh, one screw left uh, so luckily it didn't break too much but I think we, we tested it quite a lot but anyways uh, we were fortunate that the chassis is intact and uh, we should be able to mount the hood back again uh, once we are able to uh, put all the electronics in place Okay, so now Mokshim will uh, uh, unmount the hood from the from the chassis. This two. This is the so Mokshim is now unmounting the screw. So uh, we are unscrewing uh, one of these screws here which connects the chassis with the hood. Done. So here we need the screwdriver with a longer shaft. Uh, at the back we required this one but now because the uh, rear screws are already broken so we just have one screw to undo here but when uh, somebody else will do we will have to get rid of at least uh, four or five screws it all depends on the design of the vehicle all right so now you can see that the, the hood is separated from the chassis uh, what we'll do, we'll take out the antenna wire. So this is the antenna wire. We don't have to cut the antenna wire because it is connected to the electronics in the chassis. All the electronics are inside this uh, chassis box. We will open it in a little while. But uh, to basically make sure that we do not, so this hood doesn't disturb us quite a lot. What we, can you hold it for me? What we will do is, uh, we will, uh, cut these wires which basically they do nothing but just power the LED lights in the front. So we will use a wire cutter 
and the way we will cut them is that we will leave a small portion of wire on the PCB here and rest here so that if we want to join them later we can join them and we don't have to worry too much because we can uh, pair them back by the color of their wire. So we will cut them here. So one wire goes off, second one goes off, third, fourth. And now the hood is completely uh, segregated from the uh, vehicle. Uh, the number of wires that a vehicle has that are connected to the electronics in the chassis they all depend on what kind of uh, um, stuff they have got on the hood. For us, we were lucky that we just had two lights in the front, um, but sometimes um, they have tens of wires, but I've seen mostly they are used for driving lights and other fancy stuff on the car. So, so the hood is now separate. We will need hood later in the project so we will put it on one side for now and now let's focus on the um, on the electronics part so what my son has done is that he has brought a magnet so that all the screws that are being taken out we, we can put stick them on the magnet so that we don't lose them so so we put that here for now and let's bring the chassis in front and let's understand the chassis now so this is the back side, this is the front side. The front wheels are steerable. Uh, what he is doing now is that he is taking off this small PCB which was acting like a bridge between the uh, wiring on the hood and, uh, and the circuit inside. So what we will do is we will also cut this off for now. And now this small bridge goes away. This bridge has got nothing inside, just copper wires. So, so no other circuit is there. So I think uh, we might get rid of it, but we will preserve it for the moment. You never know when we will need it. Next is, uh, uh, is to open this uh, small lid here so that it will expose all the electronics and once we have done that we will show you exactly how the current system is working and we will also talk about what we plan to do uh, by replacing uh, the circuit inside. So let's open the uh, lid. So there are four screws here, one, two, three and four. So Moksham will unscrew them now. The good thing is that whatever screws he is taking out, he is pasting them on this magnet. So we will not lose these screws. So in this, uh, right now what we are doing is we are only taking off those screws which are enough for us to expose the electronics. We are not kind of taking out all the screws, there are hundreds of screws in the chassis. We are only taking those off which are enough for us to expose the electronics inside. So I think that, yeah, so the first thing is to there's one more, yeah, okay. You can use the no slide to hold this too. Okay, so this is the use of no slide. Sometimes screws do not come off easily. Uh, so next is to take off the lid so now you can see the lid has come off uh, and now the, all the electronics inside the vehicle are exposed uh, what we will do now is we will uh, bring the camera up closer to the electronics and then we will talk more about 
what's going inside this vehicle as of now and what we plan to do next.